To practice this skill, you will need a sharp spin, a loaded scalpel with a ten blade, some gloves, a pig's trotter, a marker pen or suture material, and to be comfortable with a fingertip grip. Starting and stopping landmarks have been lined out using suture material to help guide my incision. You can use marker pen if this is available. When you make the incision, with your non-dominant hand, you must apply equal pressure on either side. This is called traction and counter-traction. When you are applying traction and counter-traction, you must not apply pressure in front of the scalpel incision. When making the incision, slide the scalpel smoothly and with equal pressure towards you. Never lift the scalpel from the wound until your incision is complete. As you can see in the video, this allows for equal depth of incision. The width of the surgical wound is determined by the impression of the incision. In this clip I have pressed extremely hard and you can see that I have gone past the dermis, subcutaneous fat, fascia and into muscle. The wound is also wide. In this clip I have applied little pressure on the skin barely going into the subcutaneous fat. You can see that the width of this wound is a lot narrower compared to the previous. Inexperienced scalpel handlers often make short, hesitant strokes that do not penetrate the full thickness of the skin. The incision is unequal across the wound length. The problem with this technique is that the user has to retrace the areas where the skin was only partially excised. As you re-excise, you can sometimes create segments of skin. These segments of skin can complicate the wound healing process and add difficulties to primary closure. In the clip you can see one segment of skin there. And another segment of skin there. To summarise, line up your incision using suture material or a marker pen. Use traction and counter traction when making the incision. Make the incision from far to near. Do not lift the scalpel from the wound and also apply equal depth of pressure as you incise. Do not make short hesitant strokes as this can lead to the formation of segments of skin. And finally, dispose of your sharps equipment accordingly.